Look, mama, I made it. Let me teach y'all the basics. Where I'm from, they never come. We leave these niggas feeling naked. Watch your mouth like you got braces. Ain't no real estate agents, but they quick to hit a lick and put your clients in their basement. If I'm lying, then I'm dying. You got to respect the culture. See vultures, they say cool skies. They look at us like they know us. We will impress you. Yeah, show up. Lovely, see what these low cuts. Seize it, but please don't treat us like creatures, because we ain't co cuts. Close to Metro North, but you hardly hear it. Two MT Express lines, four and the five, three blocks west, local six train, one block east. Did you know that Mod Haven was voted one of the 52 best places to go in 2017 by New York Times? Yeah. No, right, right? It is the epicenter of art and culture in the Bronx, and this home is nestled in the heart of the Mod Haven East Historic District. What's this over here? Oh, maybe it's gonna handle that. You know, it's, it's and, oh, and that too. Yes. From here, you're 20 minutes to Times Square, 15 minutes to Midtown, one stop to Harlem, and two stops to Yankee Stadium. Hmm? Oh, one more thing about Harlem: a Whole Foods Market recently opened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But nice. if you want to remain local, there's a Bronx Brewery, Milk Burger, and a cafe called Filtered Coffee. Filtered Coffee. So bro is on the rise. Mm -hmm. You're living in NYC, but off the beaten path. If you own a car, several bridges into Manhattan. The Bronx is the new Brooklyn. Yeah. One more tidbit. Living here lets you avoid the D train. And according to Bronx sites, that's a major plus. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't always help but tell this joke. Ready? What am I writing? The D! <laughs> There's more. Oh, yeah. You come this way. You see, you have a full living room. Ooh, pistachios. Huh. I like this nook area over here. Oh yeah, it's perfect for one of those pet cave bed thingies. The booting actually allows pets if you have- No pets. Oh. A bookcase would look better here. Oh, are you a teacher, a writer, blogger? No, no, just a avid reader. Interesting. You might have a hard time filling it up. Huh. How high are these seats? Nine feet. Hmm. How soon can I move in? Ooh. February 1st. Perfect. No? Uh, yeah, sure. Paperwork this way. Thank you. Is that Murakami? Yes, sir, it is. Good, all right. Uh, this is Kafka on the Shore. Nice, I have that on my list. Oh, nice. Uh, Drew. Jason. Are you new in the building? Yeah. Hey, uh, nice to meet you, Jason. Nice meeting you, man. Catch you later. Welcome. What can I help you with? Hi, I'm looking for the novel Rock in the Bronx by Gary Kerwin. Okay. 
We don't seem to have rock in the Bronx. So I'll look at other branches nearby. Thank you. Sorry, but there does not seem to be an available copy in the Bronx. Would you like me to do a quick search of the ones in Manhattan? Don't bother. I just moved here and I wanted to keep it local. Oh. Do you know of any bookstores nearby? <laughs> there are no bookstores in the Bronx. What? Uh, last one closed last year. Um, there is one nearby though. It's in Washington Heights. You can take the bus or walk across High Bridge. The Heights. That's right. Over a million people living here in the Bronx and no bookstores. Mm -hmm. Correction, no independent bookstores. Uh, you can go to Lehman or Fordham for their school bookstores. If I were you, I'd just Amazon Prime this book or check for an audiobook using the Overdrive Library app. Yeah, but that's, that's not enough. No bookstores suggest that people in the Bronx just aren't interested in reading. And that can't be true. Is that just how it is? No. So that's just how it is? People don't read here? People in the Bronx don't read. That's how it is? Wow. Dude. They just don't read. They don't get books. They don't read here. OK. That's just how it is. All right, <laughs> fine. OK. OK. Hey. Yeah? Have a good night. Yeah, you too.